Hi, I'm Mark with Snap-on. In the second part of this two-part video, introducing the Control Tech Link wireless torque system, I'll demonstrate the use of report mode, control mode, and the Control Tech Manager software. The controller interacts with the wrench via Zigbee radio connection. The wrench must first be learned by the controller. To achieve that, we turn the controller on, select menu, enter the password or unlock the controller using the key, and then go to tools, tools again, highlight one of the squares, and press the learn button, and turn the wrench on. Press save, and the controller has now learned the wrench. Up to 16 wrenches can be connected to each controller. We just need to repeat the process to connect the desired number of wrenches. Now that the wrenches are connected to the controller, we can decide if we want to operate the system in report mode or control mode. Go to the unit setup menu and select either report or control. First we'll use report mode. Press the save button and the now button to restart the controller. In report mode, control tech link wrenches work exactly like standard control tech wrenches, except torque data is not stored on the wrench. It's transmitted to the control tech link controller instead. Up to eight wrenches can simultaneously transmit data to the controller. Data can be stored on the controller until downloaded as a CSV file, or it can be stored directly in a network database. In this mode, the controller interface can also be used to set presets which can make this process much easier than using the wrenches interface. To set torque and angle presets on the controller in report mode, start by going to the menu. Go to Tools, select the tool you would like to set up, select Edit, then select More, then select Presets. In this mode, up to 50 presets can be selected. Press Edit on any of the 50 squares. Choose a batch count, preset mode, select torque, torque then angle, torque and angle, or just angle. Select units, then choose a min, target, and max value. Here, head length can be changed if you're using a torque adapter. The direction of the target can be changed here as well by selecting positive, negative, or both. When you have your preset configured, press save. Now let's put the controller into control mode. In control mode, the wrench follows the commands of the controller. Only operations that the controller sends to the wrench can be carried out, and the ability to change torque and angle targets is taken away from the user. Wrenches are locked when not in use. Data is transmitted from the wrench to the controller in the same way as it is in report mode, and again, the data can be either stored on the controller or stored directly on a network database. Control mode uses parameters and groups of parameters to build torquing jobs. This mode is used to provide varying degrees of error proofing for a torque job. Parameters are set by entering the menu, selecting parameters, and choosing a square. Up to 100 can be set. When you've highlighted the parameter you wish to use, press the edit button. Here the parameter can be named, a tool must be selected, and a batch count can be entered. You can choose to lock on batch, which is useful if you just want to use parameters instead of groups and jobs. Selecting yes will suspend operation when the batch count is achieved. Then a torque mode can be selected. Units can be selected and targets can be set. Here head length can be changed and torquing direction can be changed. When your parameter is fully configured, press the save button. Up to four parameters can be grouped together if we want multiple wrenches to be controlled simultaneously. 
This feature can be useful if we have multiple tool operators performing tasks at the same workstation. Keep in mind, each parameter in a given group must be associated with a separate wrench. To group parameters together, go to the menu, select groups, and choose a square. Up to 100 groups can be set. When you've highlighted the group number you wish to use, press the edit button. The group can be named and we could also choose to lock on batch. A group is defaulted to beep on batch completion to notify operators when the group is complete. This can be changed to parameter completion if operators prefer. Parameters can then be added to the group. Remember, each parameter must be associated with a different wrench. When the setup is complete, press the Save button. Jobs can string up to 30 parameters and groups together as steps. To create a job, go to the menu, select Jobs, and choose a square. Up to 100 jobs can be set. When you've highlighted the job number you wish to use, press the Edit button. Here the job can be named, and you can choose to lock on Job, which suspends operation upon job completion. Controller can be set to beep when the job is complete, notifying operators that another job must be selected or batch count should be reset. Then select Steps and choose which of the parameters or groups are needed for each step. Batch counts can be changed for each parameter or group in the job. Change a step to a parameter or group by pressing Parameter or Group here. When the setup is finished, we press the Return button, then the Save button. Torque and angle targets and batch counts are relayed to the wrench operator via the wrench's LCD. Feedback from the wrench will be familiar to anyone who has operated Control Tech torque wrenches. While applying torque, the wrench displays torque in real time and provides yellow, green, and red LED lighting to indicate when the fastener is under torqued torque is achieved or over torqued and vibrates when the minimum target is achieved. Let's walk through a quick demonstration by running the job we created earlier. A barcode scanner can be used to input a job ID or VIN and load the job that we just set up. If a job ID or VIN is scanned, all torque event data will be associated to this job ID or VIN until another one is scanned. Scanning this code will start our job and send instructions to the appropriate wrench. Batches change for each OK torque event. Over torque events do not change the batch by default, but this can be changed if desired. The controller lights up green for each good torque, red for each bad one, and blue for each batch completion. When the job is completed, both wrenches are locked until another job is loaded or the batch count is reset. Control Tech Manager software can be used to remotely configure Control Tech controllers from a computer. And these configurations can be saved and backed up. Torque results and event logs can be downloaded and saved as well.
For more advanced process control, Control Tech Manager can be used to set up internal and external I.O. controls. As you can see, Control Tech Link is an extremely configurable, expandable, and capable system. It can save time by automatically storing relevant data from torque events or provide top-down process control to help error-proof your operation. To schedule a live demonstration or for more information about this innovative torque system, contact your Snap-on representative today.